Okay. One, two, three. You can go to the red flag! Oh, yes. Anytime you can start a top 10 moment with two claps at a Ric Flair, you know it's going to be a good one. This is your top 10 moments of the week presented by Emporia State University. Let's get it going. Number 10 belongs to the West Franklin Lady Falcons, who are the four-time Flint Hills League champions. Well, tournament champions, I should say. Lady Falcons are 25-2, and two, currently ranked number seven in the Kansas Volleyball Coaches Poll. Number nine, congratulations to Piper Marquez and Tia Gregory on recording wins number 100 for both on Saturday. The pair earned a fifth-place finish at the Class 4 East State Tennis Tournament this Saturday. Number eight belongs to Ken Galvez, Braden Collins, who put on a performance Friday night. And you really got to watch this young man here. Even the cameraman getting fooled on this play. That's what makes Canton Galva so good. This was one of his four touchdowns and a little help from his teammate at the end there. Pushes him to the end zone. Canton Galva remains undefeated and ranked not just number one in the East region, but number one in the state. Number seven, humble Jada Dangerfield. Danger on the court for her opponents. As you watch this, we're going to put the spotlight on her. Bam! Oh, yes. Humboldt Cubs continuing to roll here as we approach Substate. Number six belongs to Dom Bevelacqua. He's close to eclipsing 800 yards on the regular season. And with performances like this, he's going to have no problem at all. There you see, lowers his shoulders. And he just keeps his legs moving. Yeah, he leads the Panthers with four touchdowns this season. So Colgan starting to get hot as we approach the playoffs. Uh, Number five, big congratulations staying in the CNC to Riverton Rams volleyball team and head coach Rebecca Lipisic. Now, the Rams trailed 17-3 in the semis, came back to win the McDonald County Tournament. Head coach Rebecca Lipisic records career win 700, while J.C. Thomason smashes career kill number 800. The Lady Rams are 25 and 8. Number four, back to Chase County and eight-man we go. Mitch Budke and Tylen Wybera. Watch this. Budke with the defender on his back. Boop. Able to get it to the end zone. We're going to slow this down. Defender had him dead to rights. Budke gets it over to Wybera in the end zone. And a big win for Chase County on Friday night. Staying on the eight-man side, watch this athleticism here from Oswego's Jake Hutchinson on defense. Oswego in the white. And they're going to take advantage of a miscue here on the offense. And see bobbled snap. And Hutchinson off screen, able to recover, scoops it up and takes it to the end zone. Or six, Oswego, a team to watch out in Southeast Kansas in eight-man. Shawnee Mission Northwest tie black. This is one of the 527 plus completions that broke the former completion record held by Graham Mertz. And you hear a lot about Ty Black on social media. And why? Because of a throw like this. Slow it down here. Watch how he just places it perfectly. That's well defended. Defender right there, but it's an even better throw and catch. Cougars go on to win 38-35 over Gardner Edgerton. Now this one, Olathe North Eagle score with 32.2 seconds left in the game to bring it within one against number one ranked Lawrence. They try to go for two, try to go to the edge. Looks like they have it, but look at this. The Lawrence defense stops them within inches of getting the lead, and that is why Lawrence Lions, their defense and team overall are number one and number one for this week's top moments of the week.